So hey guys, we might not think about it, but our pastors struggle. I'm a youth pastor, I struggle. And we don't like to, especially in American culture, but I don't think anything in the world, I think it's kind of human nature to not want to lead out with our weaknesses. And the thing about that is whenever we try to make ourselves seem strong, then in other people's eyes, we are strong. And so you might not understand that everyone has struggles. You might know that, but you don't really believe that. You might really believe, no, I, my pastor really doesn't struggle or, you know, like my, the people around me, those good Christian people, they don't, they don't do anything bad or they're not tempted to do anything. And that's just wrong. <laughs> so I, I can tell you that the Bible doesn't promise that life is going to get easy for us. It doesn't make that promise at all. What it does promise is that as things come against us, that we can, you know, reach out to God and God will, you know, reach back towards us and that he will give us everything that we need in those situations. And the thing that he gives us, and I think that we do not utilize, is each other. Because we need an opportunity to be able to lead with our weaknesses, which means that I can go and I can make a phone call to someone and say, I'm struggling today. And that'd be the first thing out of my mouth. I'm struggling today. This thing is trying to overtake me. And that person not throw judgment on me, but actually say, let's pray. Or, hey, I know you've got this. They'd encourage me. They'd edify me. And I would be able to change my outlook because I was able to lead with my weaknesses. So I just want to encourage you. This is a big part of discipleship is being able to be vulnerable with other people because in that we find strength. And I think that, you know, like that's just an obvious thing whenever you look at the way that God works, that our weaknesses will become his strength because he can work through us in that weakness. Guys, whenever Samson was out doing all kinds of stuff, beating people up with donkey bones and, and stuff, jaw bones, uh, they went and they wanted to know, like the, the Philistines wanted to know, how did he get his great power? Look, if Arnold Schwarzenegger came to me and said, and kind of picked up a, a fridge in front of me, I wouldn't be like, where did he get that strength? I can see his strength. But Samson, they asked, where did he get his great strength? Because whenever you look at Samson, you don't see Arnold Schwarzenegger. What you see is an average person and God working through their weakness. So that being said, lead find people, lead with your weaknesses. And if you don't have anyone, just lead with your weakness towards someone. Because we won't know what to do with it and they'll be able to help you. And pray for your pastors. They have weaknesses too. Thanks for taking a minute.